photonic luminescence. Today I want to show you this fairly big high pressure sodium lamp. So we're going to take a look and see. So my first impression when I actually unboxed the book was that it's quite huge. I actually had already a high pressure sodium lamp. It was this Philips one. And obviously there's quite a size difference. Now the only problem with high voltage high pressure sodium lamps is always I think the ballast rather. Uh, I have bought a ballast but I didn't have any bulb, so now I have a bulb. Uh, the best part about this bulb actually is the built shape. We have here a reflector in 180 degrees and then we have obviously, let me show you, the high pressure arc tube. And then we have here an interesting way to mount the, or at least hold the tube. It's quite interesting. And then we have here the base something. Interesting. It's a uh, reflux for 100 watt. It's actually called, uh, the company that made this high pressure sodium is apparently called Gavita. Gavita? I'm not sure. If, if I'm not wrong, it's an Italian company. And they made this bulb. So, really, the only problem is that uh, this is actually brand new, or, or at least according to the eBay seller, or well, the bulb was cheap. That's 100% what I can say. I've seen prices very high for it, but I didn't take it for that high. And yeah, it's not that used, so no problems. Now, I'm going to connect it, I'm not going to measure its wattage, so let's see. Okay, so I'm going to start the lamp in 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. I just have to say that. Uh, let me set... Yeah. The best part about this bulb is that it actually does not blink due to the bells. This bell is actually quite awesome. And I'm going to let it warm up you can see already the lamp over here it's a bit monochromatic right now let me show you the surrounding it's a bit monochromatic my yellow bulb is definitely not any more yellow and the bulb is really at the point where i would need some sunglasses now it has done a pink white um wall light so like Right now, I'm going to try it maybe towards uh, like that. It's actually quite white. That is very interesting. Just with a slight hint of, and that basically means that we'll have to leave it even longer till it reaches its full and maximum brightness. Now the bulb has reached its maximum brightness. I have to say, it's very bright. So I'm not sure really. Yeah. Let me turn it like that. There you go. So you can see, well, at least I mean, you can't really see the brightness of this. Really, about the color, I'm going to bring something colored out. Now I have brought up this tungsten package as I always use. To show the blue and the red, but maybe also to show that we have some blue in it. The bulb is right now on super lumen, a function that my back is apparently has, but I just switched back and really there's not a lot of difference in my opinion. Anyway, I don't want to super boost the bulb anyway. Now that we are at a full brightness, we can actually turn it off. It's really very bright, and I wouldn't dare to use um, stare for the at this full photo. Let's see, 3, 2, 1. Yes, I have to say, the afterglow, it's actually bright. I have to actually admit that. But definitely the bulb is like super hot right now, I would not touch it. Now I also wanted to show you a bit just this ballast, which is the ballast that drove this bulb. So, the bulb that I will the ballast has here it says let me focus again 
there 400 watt 400 super lumens 600 watt and 600 super lumens so i have tried it with super lumen it's just really a step higher but haven't really seen any effect i would anyway not uh, trust to overdrive the bulb anyway so yeah this is the ballast i bought it from an auction auction for a fairly cheap price and they said that they, uh, the guy had four of these and they were apparently not used almost at all so yeah and the quality to be honest i have to say it's like it's pretty sturdy i have to say i sort of like it i can't say it's awesome only that i left the ballast running under the desk so it wouldn't annoy me or break a bit the decoration right so yeah this was it about this high pressure sodium lamp obviously we are going to do tests i'm going to test it outside in the garden perhaps uh, in a summer day or so and we will do tests what i'm very happy is that i received it from ebay and i like the size to be honest i really sort of wished for such a big hid boob and really looking at the arc tube it's just impressive and the fact that it has an internal reflector is just what ma amazes me the most about this bulb overall. Regular high pressure sodium lamps anyway are either tubular or in this envelope shape but yeah you never get this interior reflector. So yeah it's really awesome and, I, and while there is some blackening on the cathodes even though considering the HPS bulbs really last pretty long I'm looking also at the base and it indicates that it's not oxidized and that's really good overall it's awesome and I like it. if you have any questions regarding this book leave a comment and I will answer your question if you thought that this is also an awesome book give it a like and subscribe to see more huge books so see you in next video goodbye